Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the AKK Ultra Long Range VTX, a 5.8 GHz video transmitter that has a maximum output power of 3000 mW and features an integrated fan. In this video, I'm going to go over its features and specs, measure its output power using the different settings, and finally head outdoors and test it out. In terms of packaging, inside the box along with the video transmitter, you can find an MMCX to an SMA antenna connector, a 6 pins GST connector, and the user manual which contains the pinout of the GST connector and shows you how to manually configure the VTX. In terms of specs, the AKK Ultra Long Range VTX supports 40 channels, it features smart audio protocol and has a selectable output strength of 250, 500, 1000, 2000, and 3000 milliwatts. It features a very big heatsink and an integrated fan in order to keep it cool. Its supported DC input voltage is between 8 to 28 volts. It is using an MMCX connector and features an onboard microphone. Mounting the VTX can be done using 30.5 by 30.5 mm M3 mounting holes. The weight of the VTX is 23.2 grams, so it is lighter than the Panda RC Long Range VTX, which I've recently reviewed. And its outer dimensions are 36 by 36 by 14.8 mm, so it also features a slimmer foam factor. Setting up the VTX can be done either using TBS Smart Audio Protocol or using these two dedicated buttons. Short pressing the right button is going to toggle between the power, channel, and band settings. Short pressing the left button is going to enable you to adjust the settings, which are going to be reflected by the onboard LEDs. As for setting up the VTX using smart audio, all you have to do is to wire the right pin to a free TX pad on your flight controller, configure it accordingly using Betaflight, and in case you are going to use Betaflight 4.2.0 and above, use the VTX table which I'm going to provide you down below. Now after this introduction, let's measure the output strength of the VTX. So as you could just see, this is a very powerful VTX, and with the help of the integrated fan, which is pretty much a must because of the very high output power and the high temperature, its output power is also very steady. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the AKK Ultra Long Range VTX. I can already tell you that I went pretty far, but I wasn't able to push it to its limits when it was set to 3000 milliwatts because I was limited by the battery, and I'm working on building a better platform which is going to provide me with longer flight times. So overall, this VTX looks like a pretty good option in case you are in the market for a very powerful 5.8 GHz video transmitter, since this is one of the most, if not the most powerful options that you can currently find. As for its downsides, I think that it could have been great if it featured an onboard LC filter, since I got some noise on the FPV feed, 
And in addition, it's not very convenient that the M6 connector is located next to the JST connector, especially when mounting the VTX on a quadcopter. Anyway, both are not deal breakers, and regardless, I would like to remind you that output power is not everything. So for example, when you are going from 1000 to 3000 milliwatts, you only improve the theoretical range by 73%, and antennas are very important, and also for extreme long range, you should also consider going with a lower frequency. Now I'm going to show you the flight footage, so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.